Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about my 2011 MacBook Pro. We're going to upgrade the hard drive from a hybrid hard drive to an SSD. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. The one that keeps you guessing. Today we're gonna be talking about putting an SSD into my old MacBook, 2011 MacBook Pro. So you might be wondering, why are you wasting time with this 2011? Real simple guys, for one, it still serves my purposes. It still runs great, still does everything I needed to do, and plus, I don't like playing with doggles. All the new MacBook Pros are USB Type-C, and I'm not completely sold on it yet. And not to mention all the problems that they're having with the keyboards. It runs great, it still does good. I usually keep my Macs for at least seven or more years. That's why I buy Mac because they really do last. I did upgrade this three years ago with a hybrid. It went from almost two minutes to about a minute. And it was awesome, I was really happy with it. But now, as the hard drive is getting older, I've noticed kicky as I'd like it to be. Now I have done some upgrades to this Mac besides the hard drive, I also updated the RAM. From four gigs, I upgraded it to, I think it was four gigs, I'm still not sure, to 16 gigs. So Amazon Prime Day came and went, and then my wife finds an SSD hard drive deal that I really couldn't pass. This is the SSD that I bought. SSD stands for Solid State Hard Drive. Now, this hard drive is one terabyte. At the time of my MacBook Pro coming out, I think they were almost $1,000. Now they're only going for about 200, 250, around that area. I got this one for a sick deal. And this is a SanDisk, it's a pretty good brand. I got it for 150 bucks on Prime Day. So I gotta thank my wife for that one. She was the one that found it. I made her into a geek. So I got this hard drive. And what I wanna see is, is it gonna make this faster? So what I'm gonna do during this video is I'm gonna show you how fast it is now to start up and boot up and then see what it's like once I put this in. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I have a docking station, a hard drive docking station. Is I'm gonna throw this up on my computer and I'm gonna make sure this drive is good because there is a chance that it's not a good drive. So before we do anything, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the hard drive right here and this is how it works on this docking station. You just slide it right in here. I'm gonna put it in the first slot. You just slide it right in here and bam, and then you turn this on and I'll be able to see it on my machine. And now we're gonna jump over to the computer. I'm gonna show you how to check your drive. Okay, so as soon as you plug it in, disk utility should pop up. Just in case it doesn't pop up, you just go to your launch pad and then you click on other and then click on disk utilities, which is right here, which I don't need to do because as soon as I hooked in the hard drive, it did show up. So here it is, it's the SanDisk SSD. So what we're gonna do here is make sure you have, have your hard drive highlighted here. You don't wanna touch, this is your internal, you want external. So this is what you're looking at and you don't want image disks or anything like that. And I don't have any other systems on right now to mess up in any external hard drives. Disconnect all those guys because it just, it just makes life easier and you don't have to worry about it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna run first aid First aid, run. So I'm gonna check, and everything seems to be good, okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna click erase. I am going to leave it untitled for now, but we're gonna call, we're gonna format it journal, and we're gonna use the GUID partition mapping, and we're gonna click erase. And now this is gonna format the drive, and it shouldn't take that long. Okay, so we're done from here. All right, so that's it for just checking your drive. Okay, so that was the basic way to set up your hard drive for Mac. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna point my camera at the computer and we're gonna see how much time it takes to boot up now. So I'm gonna shut the computer down and I'm gonna set the camera up that it's facing towards the computer with my iPhone with the time. And I'm probably gonna speed it up guys, but the time on the actual iPhone is real. I'm just gonna speed it up so that way you're not sitting there forever waiting for my machine to boot. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the phone right here, I'm gonna turn it on and start at the same time. We are looking at one minute and 37 seconds. 
Now, you might think, yeah, what's the big deal? You get a cup of coffee, you come back. That's just one part that is running slow. So it took a minute and 37 seconds. I'm wondering if this SSD drive will make it that much faster where it's worth spending the money that I spent on this on an old computer. We're gonna shut this down. I'm gonna go over to the workbench. I'm gonna show you how to take this apart, pull the hard drive out, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here we are with the MacBook Pro, 2011, 15 inch. We're gonna flip it over, and what you have is it's a regular small little screwdriver, and we're gonna take these screws out. is the inside of a 2011 MacBook Pro. And like I said, I upgraded the RAM. So there's the RAM upgrade right there. That's all you'd have to do to get to that. This badly needs to be blown out. So I am gonna do that after I'm done with this, but this is the hard drive right here. And we're gonna take that out. All right, we're gonna go for these two screws right here. All right, we're gonna pull on it. Now what we're gonna do is right here, we're gonna detach everything all one piece boom your hard drive is out now there's these two little prong screws we're going to take them out as well all right it looks like it's a t6 hexagon screwdriver t6 guys t6 all right so now the hard drive's out it's time for the next part all right just a real quick update guys i got both discs in my new caddy and this one's a lot easier. I don't know if you can see that, but the light's blinking. Basically, you hit the button, you hold it for a little bit, and you put one in the source and one in the target, and it makes a copy. So this will make it a lot easier. You could, I'd, I'd try this out and see how this works. A lot easier. And this docking station, it's a wavelength. I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's really inexpensive. It goes on sale all the time. I think I picked it up for around $20, 20 $30 dollars around there really cool drive all right so we're back we're done backing up the ssd to this drive i checked it on the computer it works we're gonna put the ssd because it's finally finished back into this macbook pro it took over three hours to upload but in my defense it was 500 gigs that actually did work first time i've used that all right those are nice and tight back in so all we're gonna do from here is it can only go in one way. That's the way it goes in right there. So we're just gonna put that connector right on there, push it right in there. And then we're going to line up the bottom ones. There's little holes right here, right here. And then there's a spot over here. Okay, and then we're just gonna put this back in. And that's it, it's, ba it's back together. Now we're just gonna put this plate back on. And I'm gonna put the screws in and but I don't really need to show you that because that's it it's done now the only other upgrade that you could do later on is if you don't use the CD drive which I do use the CD drive you can actually replace this drive with a drive caddy and then put that other hard drive in so that way you would have two terabytes you'd have the solid state running your whole operating system and all your programs and then you'd have backup here with a regular hard drive, which you could do that, but that's entirely up to you. But that's it, we're gonna go to the booting process of this and see how it works. All right, so here we are again. I did boot this twice before, just to see how fast it would, if it would make it faster. Let's see how long it takes to boot up. So we're gonna do the start and the start at the same time, go. Okay, so we went from a minute and 37 seconds to 44 seconds that it starts up. Um, I gotta be honest with you, I was kind of hoping for that like 20 second mark. It took a really long time for this to transfer and I was hoping that it would be a lot faster, but all in all, I'm still happy. And just in case you guys are out there and you don't have a dock like mine, and my dock, even though I had both hard drives going right to each other, it took over three hours and I have like 500 gigs on there. But if you don't have a dock and you wanna see how to get a clean install from the web, from Apple, you can actually connect 
through the web, download the software onto the hard drive, and then format the hard drive that way without a docking system or anything. And if you want to see that video, I fixed my aunt's iMac. I'm going to leave that video right here for you guys so that way you can go through there and it, it shows you the steps on how to do that as well. So if you don't have a docking station, you're like, oh, well, you made a, a tutorial with this dock and you got to buy it, which I do highly recommending having these because if a hard drive does die, you can look it up, try and see if you can get on it and hook it up to another computer and see if you can get any data off of it. This has saved my butt several times. I really hope this video helped you guys and remember, do me a huge favor, make sure you like and subscribe if it's really helped you, if you like it. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. You know, that's, you're not the only person, what can I tell you? That's it for this episode of Crazy Will's Tech Show. And remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything, if you put your mind to it. Later, guys! That's it, that's, that's the whole... It feels like a floppy disk back in the day. <laughs> oh. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already.